to my channel. So I wanted to record the process of me applying a stencil on an unstretched canvas. The canvas is next to me right now. I will be applying it to the wall really shortly. Um, but I really wanted to show you guys how I go about doing that. So in my hands, I have a bunch of stencils that I've created over time, as you guys can see. I will be applying the stencils on this board here. It does work best for me simply because I can always pick and choose which ones I like. So uh, me being the lazy person I am, uh, I have to deal with uh, taking the tape off of the stencils because if you guys notice, they're sticking together and I can't work like that, but that's my fault because I failed to uh, do that after I finish a project. So um, that's gonna just take a little bit more time and then when I'm done, I will be recording the process and we'll go from there. gives me anxiety, guys, because I don't know if it'll rip through the, the lines. And that happened before, and I have to start over. Or I have to create a new stencil. And I end up wasting a stencil from doing this. So don't try this at home, kids. Guys, don't try this at home. Make sure that if you do decide to try stencils, just take the tape off. It, it'll really, it'll really help the process. It'll help the process be more smoother and less. It's less time consuming. Oh, actually, I don't have that much that I have to take out, which is good. So that's that's always good news. Ooh. And I will be recording the process. So you guys can see what it's like. Usually it doesn't take that long. Um, in terms of drying, it does take a while because um, I'm using metallic gold, as you guys um, should know by, uh, by now, you guys should know that I'm heavily obsessed with the color gold. Like almost all my stencils have gold paint on them. Let me show y'all real quick. So um, <laughs> all of these here, all gold, look at gold, gold, gold. So yeah, you guys pretty much have an idea that um, you guys should know that I am very obsessed with gold. Um, I do plan on adding more color uh, besides gold, but I may put a little bit of gold because that's just how serious it is. And I, just, I love gold simply because of just the richness of it. And I'm just drawn to it. There's just this connection that I have with the color. So what I do is I just grab my stencil and just place them on the hooks there. So it's easier for me to see. I usually just place them anywhere. Because if I have them laying around, uh, I won't, it'll be harder for me. So I'll just stand here and look at the board and decide what I want. And now I'm going to set up my canvas and we'll go from there. this stencil, the pattern that I like using, I'm sure you guys can see. What I do is I tend to tap it on the tray to make sure it's even like this 
and um, if it's too thick, it will it will bleed through. So uh, very gently, I go over the sides here and tap stencil. So I'd like to factor in that since this is my first time working on an unstretched canvas, I wanted to make sure that the brush or sponge that I'm using is really small. That way I can get every detail. For majority of the projects that I'm working on, I do use a roller, but I didn't want to mess this up, so I figured I'd just keep going and see how it comes out. So uh, it took me forever, but the results are amazing. So stay tuned, guys. plan on painting the negative spaces with a different color. Okay, so really briefly, that way there's no confusion, I wanted to explain uh, what negative spacing means when it comes to my uh, stenciling process. So uh, when I apply my stencils to multiple surfaces, I paint the entire stencil and then I'm left with negative spaces. And at this point, uh, depending on how I feel, I'll paint it over with a different color or I'll leave it blank. And I will be showing you guys uh, what it looks like once I pull the stencil away from the canvas. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. See. So there's gonna be some defects, of course, but I'm gonna go over it with um, paint, but I'm gonna only paint the negative sides, so. It looks great, and it's perfectly aligned with the canvas. So at this point in, my, in the process, I did not have any clue on what color I wanted to use. So I winged it and it looked nice. So I figured I'll just go with it. And uh, that's just like for the majority of my projects. I don't really have a color theme. I don't want to have a color theme. Uh, I don't like to uh, limit myself. So I'll go with what flows with me and then I'll work with that. So I am finally finished. Uh, I'll do a close up of the painting, uh, but just wanted to update you guys and let you know that I'm done and that I will be making more videos like this. I have a lot of fun. Uh, this did take me, I believe, two hours to do. Um, I don't really take a break because usually when I do take breaks, I end up finishing the next day. So I really wanted to get this all in one shot. But so far, so good. I love the colors. Uh, I didn't plan on, like I said, what majority of my work I don't have a plan for so I usually just go with whatever feels right and this is the results okay guys so that will be the end of this video I had so much fun creating this this is my first ever canvas and I do plan on making more of these so if you guys want to see more of that please remember to like subscribe and comment and share of course and I want to thank you all again for watching and I'll see you in my next video